What is going on guys, it's Starshare and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have something incredibly special for you guys because Draconia has finally been released on Steam. So I've had Draconia for quite a while due to having early access to it as a content creator and uh, you know as a supporter of the game. But it's finally been released to the public so yeah we're going to be taking a look at it today. I won't really do much gameplay because I've done quite a few gameplay videos. I did one like 20 minute long gameplay video I think like just a week ago or so. I will just dive into the uh, into the game and just look at the menus and stuff to see if there was anything updated since the last time. But for now, we're just gonna have a look at the Steam store page. But yeah, Draconia has finally been released on Steam in full to everyone. So if you guys you know want to get a copy of the game, I will leave a link to the Steam page down below in the video description, as well as the Draconia Discord server, which you can join, speak to the devs, and meet the community. Anyway, so yeah, let's see Draconia. So early access game. Okay, obviously what this means is it's early access. Uh, you know, things are still subject to change. The game is still in an early state and, you know, it's still going to develop further and progress further. And the reason why it's been released in early access is so that, you know, people that buy it now, they can play it, you know, give feedback to the devs and the devs can then change it based on that. Anyway. Why early access? Yeah, early access allows us to receive feedback from a large scale, larger scale of players with different systems during a very early stage of development, which makes it easier for us to quickly detect and fix problems. Uh, how long will this be in early access? So, uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're aiming to complete it, like have the game fully developed and like release, have the full game released by 2023. How is the full version plan to differ from the early access? Okay find a list of planned features in the game description we also have a couple playable speeches which are waiting to be added to the game okay uh what is the current state of the early access the most basic systems such as survival aspects customization inventory combat scent and effect systems have already been added and will be expanded during the development there are currently four playable species available Okay, will the game be priced differently? There is a chance the price will increase after the game leaves early access, but that will depend on the amount of additional content we might add during its development. Okay, cool. So right now, uh, by Draconia, special promotion offer ends on the 20th of January. Okay, I'm recording this video on the 18th and I don't even know if I'm going to upload it before the 20th. I, I probably will, but yeah. But for now, it is going 10% off, so it's going for 185 Rand or about 200 Rand, uh, which is normal price. Uh, dollars I think is divided by 15 or so so yeah anyway uh, about this game okay so you can join the discord server about Draconia is an open world dragon MORPG a massive online role-playing game being made in Unreal Engine 4 players one of several different dragon species and take over the sky or the land unravel the story behind Draconia's request secret locations and various characters in single player and multiplayer modes okay features existing features character customization uh, I'm not going to go over everything. I mean, character customization is self-explanatory. Basic needs, hunt to feed yourself, find water sources to drink from to survive. Sense, use the sense system to find food and water. Carrying, ooh, you can carry items or low-level players across the map. Gathering an inventory system, gather resources and turn them into useful items. We kind of had a taste of some of these stuff in my last video, which I did about a week ago. I will leave it linked up uh, below. So you can click on the card and go check that video out if you want. Uh, character leveling, complete tasks and quests to grow your character and make it stronger. Crafting, build a horde to hide all your treasures, treasures in, create objects which improve your dragon stats to add temporary buffs. Questing, find and complete one time and daily quest to gain XP. There's an interactive environment. Plan features is optional PvP. So you can uh, simply, yeah, you can have PvP enabled or disabled. Nesting, dragon dens, adding yourself a place you can call home. Talent points, spend talent points to increase your dragon traits grouping and the clan system so yeah a uh, mature content description uh fantasy violence so yeah uh reviews uh there's 94 reviews all are mostly positive so that's pretty great uh let's see there's one negative review yeah uh very little do very little service bound and the dragon fight is very rigid i was also dealing with lack of tricks you could make on the shared on all abilities well i mean he's playing he was playing like 18th of jan okay well that's today still i mean yeah, I mean, I doubt there'd be much servers after games that have just been released like to the public and there probably won't be that many servers up yet. Uh, very little to do. I mean, it is in very early access. It's just the survival aspect. So you can just, you know, eat food, grow, find water, drink and stuff like that. There's not that much to do. I mean, 
but a lot of games, a lot of these survival based games are like that until they add in like the questing and stuff, which is planned in, which is going to be added in. So remember, this game will only be out of early access sometime in 2023 or so. So yeah. Uh, there are, yeah, there are, there are some more. You guys can pause it if you guys want to read any of these reviews. Uh, though some of them you'd have to click the read more, so yeah. But those are the reviews for the game, and yeah, let's see, requirements actually. Okay, uh, minimum uh, Windows 10, Intel Pentium, okay, um, 8 gigs of RAM, a GeForce 750, 4 gigs available space. Recommended is 16 gigs of RAM, a GeForce GTX 980, in case I'm way above that, 4 gigs available space. Yeah, it's a small, a uh, pretty, very small game, which is nice. No big downloads, anything. And just have a look at some of these screenshots, look amazing. I wonder if, ooh, is that a, is that a, I think that's a griffin, yeah, that's a griffin. Ooh, yeah, another griffin. Okay, yeah, I know all my dragon designs tend to be a lot more, uh, colorful, I guess you could say. Anyway, let's go, uh, back to Draconia, and let's go into the game. So I'll see you guys as soon Okay, as guys, so here. now we're in the game, and now I've got some nice menu music and stuff. It's just, uh, okay, 1920, everything's on Epic. Limited my frames to 144, that's fine. Audio? Okay, good, my music and settings is actually saving, that's great. Because otherwise it's a bit loud. They have credits, okay, not bad. Ah, uh, single player host server, join server. Uh, let's see, join server, let's see how many servers there are. Don't think there'll be too many, but at least I hope the official ones are up at least. Oh yeah, yeah okay, so the official servers are up. So there's two US, one German, and some EU servers as well. And yeah, obviously I have best thing on the EU servers being in South Africa. So these are PvP, these are PvP and PvE. Okay, this one has a player pop of 14. This only has 8. But I mean, the game is very early and things, so you probably won't find that many players. Uh, so let's just select a server. Oh no, I'm gonna have to remake my character, aren't I? That takes me so long. Wait, import? Oh, I think I would have to... Huh, hold on. I don't know if I have any of my old characters. Let's just create a new one. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to go with something basic. European Dragon, great. I'm not going to spend all that time. I will add some other ones. Uh, draw, why not? Nose. Uh, can I turn this? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. That looks fine. I mean, I can't. I like. To, I'm gonna just change the main colors only. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time customizing it. Let's go with. Uh, let's make a pink dragon. Why not? Except pink. Uh, okay, which is the big wings patterns? Okay, so let's go with pink. Yeah, that's pretty big as well. Bit of a purple, I guess. Reason why we're doing this is, is because normally I've, I've had a lot of multicolored dragons, and I mean, <laughs> this looks ridiculous. But I mean, why not? Uh, can we add a tail? Uh, tail, yes. I do like adding the club at the end of the tail. Hold on. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. We can see the tail properly. Uh, let's go with that. I do like body accessories head. Yeah, let's give it a mask, why not? Miscellaneous. Ah, okay, I don't know what that is, but let's just go. Uh, character name test. Now nah, let's call him Purps, because you know, he's like pink and purple. But yeah, so you can now, so level one, that's fine. Uh, start. And I'm, I don't want to make this video too long, because this video is mainly just an announcement for the Steam release, you know? So everyone's aware that Draconia is finally available on Steam. And, uh, Night Vision N? Yeah, there you go. Is this a... This is... Yeah. This guy is massive, holy crap. I am so tiny in comparison. Uh, I don't know my calls. Settings, controls. Uh, call is V, okay. I don't know, yeah, you can eat food and stuff. We did try it. Uh, we did do a bunch of that in 
my last video. Oh wait, what is is that? A, oh, that's a lindworm. Marsh Marshall it on the mystic. Whoa, how do you? Huh? Maybe they did a. Maybe there's some early quest or something to do. I mean, how did you get your name like that? That's pretty cool. Oh, they're speaking in German. Uh, S S a Dunkel. S is zero Dunkel. Uh, I'm assuming they're saying they're drunk. I got no clue. But yeah, so it's pitch black. So, so we just have to walk around night vision. But yeah, so as you can see, Draconia is you know released on Steam. Games in early access. It will be until sometime in 2023 or so. There are there are the official servers are up, and obviously players will start hosting their own servers and stuff, which is when they already see the server population start to spike. As for player base, player base is still small, obviously, because there's you know so few people that actually have the game at the moment. But I assume it will expand and continue to grow, you know, as more stuff is added in and there's more features and more uh, gameplay and things like that. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications, and I'll continue to cover Draconia on my channel. Don't know how many videos I'll do, or whether I'll be doing gameplay, or what, but yeah, just let me know if you guys, you know, did enjoy this video, and if you guys have suggestions for future Draconia videos, you know, maybe what I can do, etc., then let me know down below in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video.